All right, everybody, we're back again with this whole Deuce Brotherhood uh, PS2 versus original Xbox and 360 debate. This is really one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I'm getting really sick and tired of this modded Xbox. Um, I'm just having a really hard time with it, guys. I really am, and it's uh, it's not very user friendly. So here we have 2K4. You guys watch my channel for a long time. You know this is one of my favorite games of all time. Best football game ever made, no question about it. I've always played it on PS2. This is my copy that I've had for seven years now. I've played the game for longer than that with this copy I've had since I did the original videos. And I've always played it on PS2, but I've also had it on the original Xbox ever since I got my original Xbox years and years ago. And this is the better version, I'm not gonna lie. It is the better version of the game. Um, it doesn't have custom soundtracks like 2K5. It has 720p support. It has uh, better graphics, definitely more vibrant graphics, which I will try to show in this video. Um, frame rate's better. Uh, it, it just it's, it is better overall. But I've always played it on PS2 because that's where I have my my settings and my rosters and everything, and I like the controller a lot better. So here I've got the two controllers, PS2 and Xbox. I'm doing this video in standard F because it's going to be a long one. Anyway, um, here's my problem. Here's my problem. So you got these two games. This one supports this one supports 720p. This one only does 480p. It doesn't say it on the back, but it does 480p. So that's better. So I went to try that out just out of curiosity. So I get on the modded Xbox here. I have it set to boot up to the uh, stock dashboard so I can show you my video settings on this thing. We're going to mess with and show you how this game is unplayable. How this game is unplayable with a modded box, even with a stock dash. So here's my video settings. I've got component cables. I've turned off all of it though. The only thing I have set is widescreen, which I could even put down to standard. So now it looks all distorted. But you can see I'm not even playing with those, so it doesn't even matter that I have component cables. You can see I got an orange ring because I got a modded box. Here's the game for the Xbox. This is such a what the fuck moment, guys. I'm so pissed about this. And I'll get into it because this game is going to be on. This game will be unplayable in 20 years on an Xbox. Okay. So it's like you can see it's very stretched out. But I'm just showing you these are the absolute default. You hear it? That's the game. But no video, no picture at all, completely black. So what the fuck? There's Chris Berman. Fucking Josh Gordon! Yeah, it's fucking Chris Berman, whatever. So the game works fine. It's actually playing the damn game, but guess what? You can't see shit. Here we go, we're on the main menu. I'll start up a game of football. There you go. <laughs> so there you go, there's my proof, and then it'll take us back to the Xbox Dash. I'll just put this to the side for now. So the picture's black, which is just great. So let me go back in here and turn it back to widescreen for my own sake. 720 by 480. 480i. Now I'll restart my box into Unleash X, the modded dashboard, and I'll show you my video settings there and show you that they are all good. So, black screen, and you know what? I've looked it up online. I just want to say this. I've looked this up online. People online, back to 2003, 2004, were saying, I start this game up, I get a black screen with only sound. And you know what? It's exactly true. This is a problem with the game running it over network share on a hard drive with a rip. It does not matter. It does not matter how you play the game. It simply does not work. 
Let's see, screen calibrate, that's irrelevant to what we're trying to do. Video display. I have turned 480p on, I've turned 720p off and 1080i off. My format's normal, I can turn it to widescreen. Um, NTSCM. Definitely want to leave it alone at that. And then I don't really mess with anything else. So I'm going to turn off 480p here and see what happens. You would think that would work. You have to restart the Xbox just as well. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll restart the Xbox into Unleash X. I don't know if that was running at 480p before or not. It doesn't matter. And then I'll show you. Show you that this doesn't work. Or if it does work, then I'll just laugh. And this will never go online. But I don't expect it to. There we go. Alright, so we pop the game in again. For the last time, probably. Because this will prove my point here. And I'm using third party cheap ass component cables. It doesn't matter. There's the game. It does not matter one bit. I've seen people online that have the official HD AV pack. Doesn't matter. Modded cables from a 360. Doesn't matter. There you go again. So, game's playing. You can't see shit. Game is absolutely unplayable. The only way to play a, this game on a modded Xbox is apparently is to have a PAL copy and mod the game to display an NTSC from a PAL copy. That's what I've heard. I do believe that to be true after my own personal experience with it because this does not work. So, it's fucked. There you go. So no, no 2K4 for you, man. No 2K4 for you. So, <laughs> that's the end of that. I'm not going to show anything further, and then you can see it probably took me back to the stock dash, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter one bit. And here's what I'll show you. Here's my proof. I'll unplug my same controller, my same video cord, my same power cable. I'll take this box, and I'll move it. I'll move it. Take it. Put it over there on the floor, just like that. And then I'll take... An unmodded box, an old dusty unmodded box. Put it in the same place next to my deuce. And I'll show you my unmodded Xbox, which will stay unmodded after this debacle, as we'll get into. Plug all the same stuff into it. Fire it up. Boom. So yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, the proof is right here. The proof is going to be right here for why a modded Xbox is a pain in the freaking ass. Who the hell knows why this doesn't work? I don't care enough to figure it out um, because I don't care enough to download a PAL rip of the game. Clock is always dead because I yanked it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so here you can see this. Go into my settings on my unmodded Xbox. I have all of the settings turned on. Watch this. Same disc. Same everything. So. Here we go. I will say for this game, I prefer the PS2 controller for this game. These triggers are, at least on an S controller, the triggers don't feel as good for doing what you need to do. I prefer this controller. So. Boom! There you go. Told you. I was a dumbass and I was looking away when it happened. But there you go. Now the game works perfect. Here. Look, 480p right there even works in a special video mode, so. But yeah, man, I don't know. There you go, so presentation. 
and I haven't set this up really. I don't know how to make it go 720p. I think I do need a real HD AV set for that, but whatever. 480p on this TV is crisp enough over component. So here we go. We'll do Raiders at Dolphins. There. And it works perfect on an unmodded Xbox, but not a modded box. So who the freaking hell knows, man? Who knows? Now this camera is a piece of shit, obviously, so it's not going to show. But the game looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look at how crisp and vibrant this is. I'm trying to play with one hand here is a pain in the ass. But the game is crisp and beautiful and colorful and vibrant. The graphics are fantastic. If you could run this in 720p, man, you would have a beautiful, beautiful game. See, there you go, man. This is one of the best games ever, man, no question. But yeah, look at how vibrant the game is, how colorful it is. And the original Xbox isn't a, no a notorious system for having very good color on an LCD screen, but I mean, the nice and vibrant reds. You can see, I just, I don't have my custom difficulty setting on here, so. But it, it looks real nice, man. The game looks great. It's beautiful. Let's see here if I can... Uh, uh, I thought there was a way to change my... But nonetheless, there you go. You, you can see that it works perfect here. So... And I mean, the game is just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So, it's such a shame. It is absolutely a complete crying shame. There you go. And you know what? You know what's a bummer about this? The thing that really sucks, and this is why this game will be unplayable on Xbox in 20 years. You can't play this game on the 360. You cannot play this game on a 360. It does not matter what model, what hard drive, it doesn't matter one bit. It's all the same. You cannot play the game on a 360. This, you can play on a PS3, either a regular old PS3 that supports PS2 games through disc or through a modded PS2 as a game file. You can play this. And so there you go. Uh, only a stock Xbox can play this, not a modded one. And then real quick, just to prove my point here, I am going to plug in my PS2 and show you the game running. With component cables. Let's see here. I'll show you my setup back here. I have three sets of component cables. I have Xbox, Wii, and PS2. So we're going to unplug the Xbox cheap ass cables. Man, I looked online and PS3 component cables, which is what I was looking at getting for my PS2, they cost like 40 bucks. Like, man, fuck. Don't even get me started on GameCube. These cables sit on kind of loose. That's what I'm worried about. These PS2 ones are kind of crappy. The Xbox One fits on pretty good, but this is pretty shitty. Especially that. Look at that green cable. But anyway, fire up PS2 here. I'm not even going to put the disc in because I have it on a flash drive. So there you go, same resolution. This game, and I'm showing you the versatility of it because I'm loading it off a flash drive. You could load it off a hard drive, you could play it off the game disc. So I'll fire it up. And I will show it to you. Running. On component with a modded console. Doesn't matter if you chip this console, it will still work. Doesn't matter one bit. Does not matter. So th this is just terrible luck. <laughs> Every other game that I've tried has worked perfect. That's what other people are saying online. Every game but NFL 2K4 works perfect. But NFL 2K4 doesn't matter if it's a disc, a download, a rip, it doesn't matter what the hell it is, doesn't matter if you play it over file share, doesn't matter what the hell you do. You cannot play the fucking game on a modded Xbox, only a stock. Makes me very happy that I decided not to mod that original system.
But that's the only console that I'll ever fucking play it is an unmodded Xbox. Which good luck keeping that fucking thing running. When you got a drive, I'm pretty sure the DVD drive is keyed to the console, the drive's keyed to the console, it's all keyed to the fucking console. So, it's just great. Now instantly, I don't know if you can see on the camera, the PS2 version is less vibrant. A lot of PS2 games are like this for some reason. They are outright less vibrant by decision, by design. They are less vivid. So you can see here, there's my custom setup. The reds are not as vibrant. The reds are just not as vibrant. So there you go, you can see my difficulty settings that I set up for this game. They somewhat. My roster, for some reason, isn't loaded every time. So you can see these guys, these quarterbacks. These guys don't have the correct speed. Everybody should be at 99 except for the quarterbacks and the kickers. But for some reason, it doesn't load automatically. For bullshit. I did switch to a new memory card, though, so we're going to see if it'll, uh, if it'll fix it when I go over there. So whatever, I'll show you the same exact game. And look at how quickly this is playing off of a flash drive. People always bitch and complain about it. Yeah, like I say, I mean, it's not going to show up on this camera, but the game is less vivid and less vibrant. I mean, it still looks good. This game still looks great, but it just doesn't pop in the same way. Still the most beautiful football game, other than maybe 2K5, because they make the fucking modern Madden games look like shit. Look at that. Yeah, trying to play with one hand is real fun. But anyway, this game is just great. Oh yeah, look at that completion, there you go. Alright, that'll work for me. Now one thing to note, I don't know if uh, 2K4 is this way, but I have 2K5 there. Um, with 2K5, if you have a PS2 without a hard drive, you'll only get a picture replay in the uh, halftime show or the weekly, pretty sure also in the weekly recaps for uh, franchise mode, you'll only get pictures on a PS2 unless you put a hard drive in it, but the Xbox will always have video replays. I don't know if it's the same way for this game, but definitely by default without a hard drive in the PS2, you get video replays on the Xbox, you don't there. So you saw some video replays there, but it doesn't do it for the halftime show. So overall, like I said, the Xbox version of this game is better. Xbox is better, but this one plays better. It plays better simply, this is what I'm saying right here, this this game plays better on PS2 because it's more versatile. It's easier to play this game. You can play it on an emulator. Xbox emulation in right there isn't quite there yet, and I don't know when it will be. You might be able to get away with playing this on an emulator in the future, and uh, if so, that would be a great alternative. I hope to hell it works good on an emulator someday. This one already does. PS2 is easier to mod big time. You know what? Let me shut off this old beast, my fat PS2. That is a awesome system here, you can see. Love this thing. You want to see how I can make another PS2 modded? You want to see how easy this is. There you go. That PS2 is now going to do the exact same thing this thing just did. Just like that. Of course, this shit's falling over. <laughs> That's where the Xbox usually sits, because I don't play it. And uh, the, that's not the best way, obviously. I know that playing with a flash drive is the best way. I just do it for testing and stuff because I have not yet gotten the equipment, but it's very easy to do. If you had that, you know what you'd do? Let's just, let's just pretend that the expansion bay is the network adapter with your hard drive and that this is another fat PS2. Pop it off. Pop it on. 
that's it. It's plug and play. The whole modding for this thing is plug and play. You don't have to do shit to the system. I have five PS2s. They all perform identical modded because guess what? You unplug this fucking thing, this, and this, or a hard drive in the back. That's your mod. This system, I'll boot it up stock. I'll boot it up stock here. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. So that's, I mean, it's not hard, and that's what I'll say to people, bitch, oh, it's not that hard to mod an Xbox. It's not. It's really not. All you really need is a modded save game, the little USB adapter, and you can mod your box. If you want to replace the hard drive, it's not hard, but it's not plug and play necessarily. You gotta have the right fucking hardware. You gotta look up if your hard drive's compatible. Sometimes you do on PS2 as well. I found that with SATA, anything works on a PS2. With the SATA adapter, real easy to install one of those into the network adapter. Just unscrew the fucking thing, put the new board in, bam. You wanna put a new laser in your PS2? Easy. Very easy to work on. And I know, like, again, it's not hard to mod an Xbox, but the whole point of this is that you can't fucking play this game on a modded Xbox. So, for someone like me, I play like 5 to 10 hours of video games a week. If you don't believe that, I don't care. But this is the game. This is the game that made the decision for me in terms of investing in that kind of thing. Because it wouldn't play on the 360, and it won't play on a modded Xbox. So I'm stuck with a stock Xbox that could fail at any moment. The drive could fail. You could probably build a new hard drive for it. But then if your disk drive shits out, I don't know how the hell you're going to fucking get around that. If you have to buy a new drive and rekey that as well. You might have to chip your Xbox. Again, that doesn't transfer over so easily. It doesn't cross-pollinate between systems. The work you put into one Xbox is put into that Xbox. You can swap the drives between them, but again, you might have to chip, or it's just hot swapping. It's just, like, fucking forget about it, man. I don't play video games often enough for this to be something I want to invest in. I like this because it's easy. I can plug that in. Like I say, I have five PS2s. It all works beautifully on. No big deal. No big deal at all. And I know you can play 2K5 on the 360. I don't even care. I don't even care to play that game, honestly. Like I've, t I've said before, this game's much better than that one. I mean, 2K5 is probably the second or third best football game ever made, but why well, play it when you got this? So anyway, that's just my big freaking rant. I'm just upset about this because it shows you, man, this modded Xbox has been nothing but a bitch. It keeps freezing on me. It keeps restarting itself. Um, the hard drive upgrade in terms of you get a very specific amount of a... Uh... Shit. What was it? You, you, there's only very certain adapters that work for SATA. With the uh, PS2, man, it's freaking easy. Just easy. I just haven't done it yet because I don't want to go through the process of rebuilding my entire RIP collection for the hard drive because it's a little bit different configuration than the USB. Otherwise, it's no, no big deal. I have the hard drive for it and everything. So, that's it, man. <laughs> that's it. Deuce for life, man. That's what I'll say. Deuce for life, 2K4 for life. The original Xbox is a pain in the ass. I love the games on the original Xbox, but the hardware is a bitch. For someone like me, I just don't care. I really don't care. It's easy to mod a PS2. It's easy to mod a Wii, man. You can play fucking 2K3 on that thing. Um, but yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's annoying. It's just, it's very annoying when you get invested into this. I have a lot of great games for the original Xbox, and some of them will only play on an original Xbox like this. Now to find out you can't play it on a modded box... It takes away from the value of it big time. It makes me a lot more hesitant to uh, invest into an original Xbox because, like, I need a new controller. This thing's starting to fucking split. You can see the cord there is splitting. The stick's wearing away and it gets kind of caught, as these tend to do. This and that, so. But, you know, it's a pain in the ass. It's a big pain in the ass. So there you go. Just with this. So there you go. That's what I'll say, man. It's that simple. It's just that simple. Deuce for life. Alright, so that's my funny video. It was this was a serious video. I was just kind of making it somewhat of a parody of the Deuce Brotherhood. But yeah, that's the modded Xbox. It's a bitch.
Um, I've shown a lot of easy systems to mod, like PSP and DS and Wii, and then the PS2. All of them are easy. You could probably mod a 360 and play this game on it, but I don't know the, if the emulation is going to be any good. It's probably going to be laggy, like 2K3 is when you play it on there, or even 2K5, the frame rate suffers on a 360. Again, you have to hard mod the console. You have to chip an Xbox if you want to swap drives freely on an unmodded system. Fun. So, that's just the point I'm trying to make. I'm not pleased with the original Xbox as it stands in terms of modability. It's not hard to work on, but there's so many fucking little things, man. Insignia, I can't get it to work with the modded dashboard. I always have to use the stock one, which means you can't play with the fucking rips. I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but I can't be asked. So there you go. <laughs> Too bad. So, Deuce for Life 2023 coming soon.